One of the most notable effects of the climate crisis, sea level rise, is already proving to be a problem in some parts of the world. According to scientists, the Earth's ocean has risen by 10 centimeters in the last 30 years and, even in the best of scenarios, will increase by more than half a meter by the end of the century. Some regions, as expected, will be affected more than others. The most vulnerable regions are the regions uh, in the Pacific Ocean where the sea level rise will be a little bit higher than the average sea level rise and they already have some of those uh, evacuation programs running to evacuate people from uh, low-lying islands and uh, that's where we will see in fact not the coming uh, decades but already a problem at sea level and in Europe we have uh, Currently not that big problems, there are many places where we can raise dikes, uh, but if sea level rise continues, you will get problems with erosion, flooding uh, and salinization issues where the salt water will penetrate uh, into the land. Flooding threatens not only loss of territory and economic potential, but also the colossal migration of people whose homes will end up on the seabed. This as a consequence, could result in new conflicts already fueled by poverty and ethno-religious tensions. There, there, there is not a unique solution which solves everything. Uh, this depends very much on the local conditions and uh, whether you can afford to build dikes, for instance, because that's a pretty expensive solution. There are also nature-based solutions in some regions which are possible to protect the country, like uh, having more uh, mangroves, for instance. But that is obviously not a, an option which will work in Europe. Some island states of Oceania may disappear completely. In Europe, if the sea level rises by one meter, 13 million people will have to be displaced because of floods. And in Asia, rising sea levels will mostly affect the extremely populous deltas of large rivers, such as the Ganges in Bangladesh.